What is going on you guys and welcome back to another detailing video. Today I have one of the nastiest cars I've ever done. This actually might be the worst carpet I've ever done in my life. Everything from every crack to every pocket in this car is absolutely disgusting. There is stains covered on every square inch of this carpet. Everything from the carpet, upholstery, glass is just as dirty as it could possibly be. Today I'm only doing the interior of this car and I'm focused on just getting this carpet clean. Customer called yesterday and asked if I could squeeze him in to get this van done and I asked him to send me pictures. He did and I was like, I got to get my hands on this, which is like actually disgusting to say. But with that being said, I know this will be some great before and after shots, so let's get into the video. Ow, fuck. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the carpet because literally I'm just genuinely excited to see what this is gonna turn out like. Unfortunately, I do not have a carpet extractor, which absolutely sucks for this video. But what I'm gonna do is use a drill brush, all-purpose cleaner, carpet cleaner, and try to just extract this carpet as much as I can without actually using an extractor. So first things first, I'm just gonna pick up, can you see me? I'm just gonna pick up some of this dirt, and then I'm gonna go over it with the drill. I just hit the trigger as if it's actually gonna go off. I'm gonna go over it with the drill brush and then see if I can extract some of these stains and get them out. I don't think I've ever seen stains this bad that won't budge at all. I mean, like, normally using this method will work against most any stains, and they come right out for the most part. Really, really bad ones might take one or two or two or three go-overs, but this is a whole nother level. It's insane. I really wish I had... Sorry, garbage truck was in my way. I really wish I had a carpet extractor, but I just don't. So I'm gonna try to use a steam cleaner and see if maybe that'll help to get some of this um, stains out, but uh, I'm stuck. So update, the carpet is pretty much done. Um, there's still stains I have to get out. It's looking a lot better, but I could not get the stains out by myself. So I actually called the customer and asked if I could bleach his carpet, knowing that his carpet would turn from gray to kind of a light brown-ish. But that's the only way that I could get these stains out without a carpet extractor. I'm not even sure if a carpet extractor would actually work. But that's the only thing I could think of that could get these stains out. And also, worst case scenario, his plan B to if I can't get these stains out, he's just going to replace the carpet anyways. So to him, it was worth the risk of it looking uh, bleachy brown. So I actually ended up bleaching the carpet. But I'm going to go ahead and start working on all of the plastics on camera because I kind of stopped recording halfway just because I was just getting a lot of the same shots. After I do the plastic, then we have the glass, and then I'm going to move back to the carpet and the seats, and then we'll be done. And now time, oh man, I went and filled this bottle up because I thought it was empty, my bottle's right here. But now I'm just going to spray down this door, wipe it down, and then move on to, the, ew, these are his socks, that's so nasty. I can do a lot of things. I can do rats, roaches, anything, but I can't do feet. Feet gross me out like you would not believe. What's even grosser is that some people have, ugh. What's even grosser is that some people have like a foot fetish, that's disgusting. If that's you, like seriously, just stop watching my videos because I don't have any support for you. Man. 
Whatever this is, I cannot get out. Nothing. What the heck? Oh man, I dropped a brush. I'm like having the worst luck possible with this car today. I swear I actually know what I'm doing. I know you can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm taking an all-purpose cleaner and kind of just cleaning all this like dirty fingerprints up on the sun visor and the roof. I don't really know how good you can see it back there, but that's kind of the only place that I can sit you. So I'm just gonna take a non-purpose cleaner, or non-purpose, an all-purpose cleaner and, jeez, uh, I cannot get a sentence out for the life of me. I am going to take an all-purpose cleaner and clean the fingerprints off the sun visor and the roof. Oh, but update on the carpet. Here's what the carpet looks like now. There's some stains that would not come out like this and this, but overall it looks much, much, much better. And like I said, like you, this carpet is beyond repair. And if he absolutely wants it perfect, he's gonna have to replace it. But I think overall he'll be happy with how it looks now. It looks 10 times better than it did before. Grace, what are you doing? Look at my dog. Come here. All right guys, so major fast forward. The car is now finished. There's still so many spots in the carpet that I'm just not happy with. I'm actually gonna take $100 off of the price because I'm just not happy with how this looks. This isn't how I do business. It's not how I detail. So I'm actually just gonna take $100 off the price. And um, I've already sent him the pictures of everything. Everything's all settled. I just have to take the car back. I'm gonna give you guys a run around of what it looks like now. But like I said, this carpet is just not up to my standards. So here's the front. See, it's just so splotchy and it's because of the bleach which again i asked him if i could use the bleach it's the only option i had and he's probably going to take the carpet out anyways this was just a last shot here's the whole front dash area seats actually here here's a quick montage of the inside Also, I should add, he had three seats sitting back here whenever he gave me the car this morning, but I took them out, that way I could get a good thumbnail. They weren't bolted down, they were just sitting in the uh, back. And so I put this one in just to see, like, it, make sure that I could get it in right, but I can't get the seat out, so I can't get good after pictures because the seat is like now stuck in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the other seats and get those in here off camera. And then that'll be it for this one. All right, guys, well, I'm bringing the customer's car back to... Oh, he doesn't have a backup camera. That's weird. What did I just do? No. How do I turn that off? Oh, crap. Oh, got it. Okay, I don't know what just happened. So I'm going to take the customer's car back to his house. It is done now. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.